I think I know what this is. <laughs> I'm an eggnog expert. Yep, this is eggnog. Uh-huh. Because this week, we're going to see how much dairy we can drink before we puke. Special holiday bonanza! Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Merry winter, everybody. <laughs> and a happy Festivus to you, Derek. You asked me if there was something coming up that I knew about we haven't seen, and it's Festivus. Oh, that's true, yeah. I think that's it. And then Puerto Rican Day uh, Parade. You, you've you warned me about this since season one. Hmm. I think there's worse episodes. <laughs> So, um, somewhat akin to the candy bar lineup from the episode The Dealership, which we don't know about, Mm -hmm. um, we are going to do an eggnog lineup. Yep. Uh, And so we have an array of different brands of eggnog Mm -hmm. uh, that you've prepared. We're double blind. Yep. So, you know what the possible brands are. And so do you, because you bought them. You don't know the order that they're coming in, and yes. I don't know what I'm giving you. Right. So we're both blind. And Did after, you put rum in all of these? Yes. Did you put, is this nutmeg or cinnamon? That's nutmeg. Okay. After five ounces of rum each, we're going to be blind for real. Oh, no. No, it's only half an ounce in each one. Oh, okay. And you don't have to drink the whole thing, I guess. We're, we're going to go- uh, Wine tasting show? style? Mm-hmm. Tile? <laughs> Do we swish? Where's the uh, <laughs> spittoon? <laughs> well. What do you call the thing you, you spit wine into? Spittoon. Is it a spittoon? Is uh, that for tobacco? I don't know. I can't think of another word for it. Mm, we'll correct ourselves in the next episode. Yeah. So what do you think of this first one, looks-wise? Uh, it's got an, a fairly uh, pale yellowish color. Mm-hmm. A nice bouquet. We put in, um, like yep. it was the eight year Appleton estate rum. You bought fancier rum than I ex- was expecting. No, it was pretty cheap. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. it's got really small bubbles. I shook them all up. This one's got tiny bubbles. Looks a little chunky, but I think it's just the bubbles. The viscosity is kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't like the viscosity. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, down the hatch. Bottoms up. Let's. Well, that feels thinner than it looks in the cup. I think I know what this is. How many of these are non dairy? Two. Do you think this is one of them? I don't know. It has a weird aftertaste. It's pretty watery. <laughs> Do you like? No, not particularly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to drink any more of this. <laughs> What? <laughs> Are you a big eggnog fan? Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> despite, I, despite what I just said, I really like eggnog. I don't think that that is dairy. No. Um, wh- how are we going to do our reveal? Are we going to write down what we think it is? Or are we just going to rank? I think we're just going to rank. Okay. So I'm already putting this at the bottom. That is both the best and worst eggnog I have tasted today. <laughs> So I poured us an equal amount of rum, an equal amount of nog. I shook up all the nogs. Based off volume or weight? Volume. Okay. And I tried to put exactly the same amount of nutmeg. It's freshly ground, so like I wasn't weighing it. I was just Mm. rating the nut. So the variables are just the eggnog. Okie dokie. And the temperature, depending on how long this takes. Time for Nog 2. Well, Derek's getting Nog 2. I actually have corrections from last week. And I think I'll... I think we'll get into them today because if we save them for the beginning of Season 7, it won't be relevant anymore. We won't remember. I had... Okay, I'll start with this thought. I think they pronounced... Remember Janice? Mm -hmm. In last episode? I think they pronounced it Janice because Tanya... Harding is Tanya, not Tanya. 
Oh, okay. So it's like just changing a familiar name a tiny bit. I think honkies say Tanya. Yes, but you said Tanya. Tanya? Right. They they say Tanya, but Tanya is with an O. Okay, whatever. (laughs) Okay, Nog 2. This this looks like it's made out of milk and eggs. This does. It, they all smell the mm. same. Immediately better. Oh yeah, that's good. It's, it's creamy. Sweeter? Uh, definitely sweeter. Better uh, mouth feel. Mm-hmm. It had no bubbles, no foam on the top. Mm-hmm. It coats the tongue and uh, delights the palate. It's got the right, like, am I drinking pancake batter consistency? Mm. Yeah, I like this one. That's a nog. The first one was not nog. I mean, I think it was nog. It wasn't egg. <laughs> yeah. They're about the same color, though. The first one's a bit duller, like yeah. darker. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to put this higher. I don't know where yet. So you know how my company made a series of uh, stickers related to eggnog? Yes. Because... <laughs> Explain this. (laughs) So during the pandemic, uh, they started doing social calls on Friday at three o'clock. And when nobody was allowed to leave their house, they would go off long into the night. And at some point, somebody brought up how the French translation of eggnog is le de poule, which directly translates to chicken milk. Mm -hmm. Um, And it kind of like became a internal like meme at work and so they made a series of stickers um so on the back of my laptop i have a is it is it still anthropomorphized milk carton if it's uh been anthropomorphized into a chicken what (laughs) oh my laptop's upstairs i was gonna show you you know what i'm talking about though it's a chicken it's it's a it's a it's a it's a no it's a milk carton that has the face of a chicken and the arms and the legs and Or I guess the wings (laughs) and legs and like tail of a chicken. Okay, sure. We'll say yes. All right, whatever. And it just says chicken milk? Yes. Cool. While Derek's getting the next nogs, um, I have some hockey goss follow-up. I swear this will be the last thing. Um, We talked about Shane Pinto. Mm Mm-hmm. So what I, the latest I read was that he wasn't betting on hockey. He was feeding insider information to betters. Oh. And I mean, he got what, 41 games? Half a season, yeah. Half a season. Uh, Todd Bertuzzi got 20 games for nearly killing someone. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty wild. Yep. And I know that was a different time. Not that long ago. Still, no, even, (laughs) I mean, I think this might be like the longest Suspension? Do you think it's got to be he's being made an example of? Oh, for sure. And but, possibly other shenanigans. So what source said that he was feeding insider information? Oh, I don't remember. So this is the this is the this is the the problem though is that if he he's clearly being made an example of by the yeah. length of the suspension, but you need to explicitly state what he did wrong. Yes. Otherwise, nobody knows what example <laughs> they are supposed to like. Yeah. Maybe maybe they do know, and we're just the public isn't being told. I feel like it would get out if that was the case. Yeah. So this looks like good nog. No bubbles. Yeah, it coats the glass, uh, by which I mean plastic cup. Yep. It smells good. Very tasty. Less sweet than the last one, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Do I like that better? I'm going to try, I'm going to try the second and the third. I think I like it better. Mm. I don't know. I think I like, I think I I like the second one better than the third one, but it's, it's pretty close. It is pretty close. Color wise, they're almost identical. Did you really only have four eggnogs? (laughs) No. You sure? I'm sure. There were five containers. I put those, I'm going to put those as a tie and then later I will, uh. The third one, I don't like 
So um, when I drink whiskey, I think of the the taste in terms of head, body, and tail. Mm-hmm. And I don't like the tail of that third one. Oh, interesting. Let's give it another go. The head being like the first taste you get. I get it, yeah. Hmm. Remember when I made all that homemade eggnog? Yeah, the tail is... The second one, the tail remains sweet. The third one, the tail is kind of like, mm. not sour, but just sort of a blunt note. Mm. Mm-hmm. You agree? I think I, I think it. I think you might be able to say it's sour. Maybe the drop in sweetness is mm. I'm interpreting as sour. Yeah, you made eggnog that was made out of five different liquors. Just three. It was so alcoholic. You couldn't have a glass. You needed to have a shot. You could have a glass. You'd be lit. It was like a Christmas tree. It's t- tis the season. It was also kind of like a pink color. Like a pinky yellow? I don't know why. It, it, no, that shouldn't be. Maybe because it had Maybe because eight brown like liquors in it. Maybe because it brown. It had three brown <laughs> liquors in it. It was wildly alcoholic. Mm. Dog number four. Here's some more trivia. Um, when Seinfeld shot the episode The Understudy in 1995, they said it was a little difficult to get a guest star to commit to being on the show. And this is according to Carol Liefer. So they went to a lot of big actresses, and they all passed on it. Uh, And so Marjorie Gross, the other writer of that episode, was uh, an old friend of Bette Midler's. So that's how they got Bette Midler into it. Some more Marjorie Gross uh, trivia. She's Canadian. Canadian! She was the cousin of Spencer Rice, a.k.a. Kenny vs. Oh, wow. And he described her as his hero. Wow. Ooh, this one has a little bit of bubble cluster on the surface. Mm -hmm. I think this is not Nog, just by looking at it. I think this is another non-dairy. I think when it's got bubbles after 10 minutes, it's non-dairy. Because it's like chemical suffocants? Yeah. Suffocants? Yeah. Surfectants? What word are you saying? Suffocants. But they suffocate the nog? I'm pretty sure the word is suffocant. <laughs> okay, we will look that up. They put it in um, like instant coffee so that it gets like a nice crema, mm. which is why you can only make Dalgona coffee with instant coffee because they have so many suffocants in them more than just like an espresso or a pour over coffee. Mm, interesting. So this one's got a few, few little bubbles left. Nice yellow color though. Oh, mm, ah. I'm smelling more rum than anything when I smell it. This tastes maybe like medicine? This is definitely almond milk. What's okay, the- you go away. That might be oat. That might be oat. It might be oat. It, it's not. That's not. That's not milk. <laughs> uh, it's very gray compared to the others. I'm pretty it sure is. that's oat. Okay. I mean, if it was the only one I was drinking, I still don't no. know if I would like it. No. This is yellow and has no bubbles. I'm guessing it is nog. Eggnog. I guess so, but look at the way, like, pick up one, pick up two or three, and look at the way it coats the glass. Mm-hmm. And look at the way this one does not coat the glass at all. It has, no, it has little particles. No. Not the same. Not the same. Nowhere near the same. But it's very yellow. It's very yellow. I think I know what this is. It's eggnog. It has no smell. No smell, no tell. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. It's good. It is more pleasant than I was expecting. That's really nice. It's less thick than the other ones, than the other eggnogs, I feel like, but not watery. It's thicker than I was expecting, <laughs> based off how it looks. It looks- there's like a caramel smell? Or a caramel taste? I don't. Yeah, I don't get a caramel smell. I get the, uh, maybe like a little Werther's original. Yeah. Yeah. Which I find, I like it, but I, I don't know if I associate it with eggnog. Is this a flavored eggnog? Did you slip in a flavored eggnog? No, these are all plain flavored. Is it a candy cane flavored eggnog? Oh, God, no. Don't be ridiculous. So next to the others, that's very rich, very yellow. Mm-hmm. Very eggy. Hmm, Okay. 
gonna, I'm going to do some private tasting and ranking over here. All of these taste boozier than I was expecting for only having half an ounce of alcohol in them. I considered not having any alcohol mm. so that all we taste is eggnog, but I would never drink it that way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the full effect. Mm -hmm. Two and a half ounces of rum in me right now. Not quite. No, not quite. I, I, and I won't. I know I won't finish <laughs> at least one of these. Two, maybe three of them. So I did buy these eggnogs. So I should know what the brands are, but I don't. Do okay. you not in order want to say what the brands are, but you want to just like say what, what, what sure. the, what the, who are the who are the participants in this? Uh, who are competition? the guest stars in this episode? Who, yeah. who, who are the guest stars? So, in no particular order, we have Silk Coconut Eggnog. We have Earth's Own Oat Nog. We have Nielsen Eggnog, and we have two from President's Choice: Original and World's Best. Mm. Do you want to give your ranking, or do you want to try and guess what's what? You give me your rankings and I'll write them down and then we'll reveal what they are. So I think so my ranking is the second one we had. Wait. Is, what's you're going from top to bottom? Yeah. Okay. You want to go bottom to top? Yeah. Bottom to top. Four, one, five, three, two. Mine is one, four, five. Three, two. Um, so we're we're in agreement. Number one, the the best one is number two, then three, then five, and then we kind of kind of flip them. Yeah. Disagree on the, on what was the worst. Worse. I'm going to guess that it was uh, world's best was number two. Original president's choice was number three. Number one was the oat nog. Number four was Silk Coconut Nog, and number five was Nelson. I'm going to guess, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say number one was Coconut, number four was Oat. Man, that's tough. I'm going to say the last one we did, which was number five, is Nielsen, which is what you said. Yeah, I don't know. Two and three are mm. really close, so I'm I'm not even going to guess. So we both said, okay, now you have to tell me what order we did drink them in. Do you remember? Yes, I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this, this double blind stuff, I sat and thought about it multiple times over multiple days. How do we do this? How many different codes do we need? I almost drew on the cups to make sure that they stayed together. I don't know. I don't know. We really needed a third party to help with this. So the order that we tried the eggnog was mm -hmm. C A E B D. So that means the first one we tried was silk coconut. I was right. We ranked that fourth and fifth. The second one we tried was PC original, which we both ranked as oh. our number one choice. The third one we tried was PC World's Best, mm. which we both ranked as our second choice. So neck and neck, but PC is on top. The fourth one, fourth one we tried was the crappy oat nog. The fifth one was Nielsen. This is surprising to me because we did a nog test five, ten years ago. I don't know. And I remember Nielsen being my favorite. Mm. Um, before I went and got the things, I did try number one again. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is oat. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So I mean, Galen Weston, but they make good nog. Man makes a good nog. Make your own at home. Get drunk. Maybe we will, uh, for the start of season seven, we'll make some homemade nog and enjoy it during the episode. The problem is, is that I make like five liters of it. <laughs> I mean, we currently have to drink five liters of eggnog. Oh, sweet so. Jesus. I'm not drinking those other ones. <laughs> I have some more corrections. Go for it. 
So we wondered about the Korean being spoken in the nail salon mm. in the understudy. First of all, you asked me, you said North Korean was a distinct language, and I said it's not. Technically, it is a distinct language, but it is basically a dialect. Technically correct. <laughs> the, best the best kind, kind of correct. correct. And Korean used to be a tonal language, but now it isn't. Oh. That's what I read anyway. So, in the nail salon, uh, I tried to get Google Translate to listen and translate. Oh, yeah? It did not work. Mm. So, what I did was I turned on Korean subtitles. Mm. Then mm-hmm. I translated them with Google Lens. But the subtitles might not be what they're actually saying. Why would a Korean subtitlist not subtitle what they're actually saying? This is what written, what's what's written in the script. The script is in English. Okay, whatever. What did the what did what did <laughs> yeah. your what did your thing say? Did it did it translate whatever was written under there meet there as speaking Korean? Nope. Everything they said they were saying is what they were saying. Oh, princess wants a manicure. Yada yada yada. So Seinfeld not racist. They're actually speaking Korean. Wow. There you go. What a way to end season six. Season 7, come at you, 2024. Yeah, we'll be back uh, January 11th. 11th. Yes. Now we're going to get slightly drunk. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Believe it or not, this is our podcast. Please subscribe at the end. If you subscribed, we would be happy. Please subscribe to us. Believe it or not, it's our podcast. Is that a Seinfeld reference?